I'm incredibly excited today to introduce an all-new MacBook Air with a retina display. The new Air's sleek design takes the display glass right to the edge of the enclosure. The bezel of the current MacBook Air is gone. The number one feature customers have wanted in a MacBook Air has been a retina display. There's an eighth generation dual core CPU along with the latest Intel integrated graphics. The new Air comes with Apple's T2 security chip, and that's Touch ID. So we've replaced the old diving board version with the new Force Touch trackpad. So the new MacBook Air has two Thunderbolt 3 ports. There's another small but mighty Mac our users have been waiting for. I can't wait to tell you about the biggest update ever to the new Mac Mini. Now, every Mac Mini starts with four cores. But we didn't think that was far enough. So we're also giving Mac Mini six cores processors as well. So the new Mac Mini can now go up to 64 gigs of memory. And every new Mac Mini also has the Apple T2 security chip with gigabit Ethernet, four, count them, four Thunderbolt 3 ports, an HDMI port, two USB-A ports. It can connect to almost anything. A 3.6 gigahertz quad-core processor, and it starts at just $799. We're announcing an all-new iPad Pro. All-new A12X Bionic, up to one terabyte in storage capacity. And so in these new iPad Pros, we're moving to USB-C. <laughs> This brings a whole new set of capabilities to the iPad, like connecting to accessories that change how you use your iPad, cameras, musical instruments, connecting to high resolution external displays up to 5K. We now support charging out over USB-C. These new iPad Pros, the second generation pencil attaches magnetically. It automatically pairs and starts charging wirelessly. And it starts at $799, at $999.